नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी द पेरोक्सिसम प्रोलिफरेशन एक्टिवेटेड रिसेप्टर व्हिच इज अ टाइप ऑफ न्यूक्लियर रिसेप्टर लोकेटेड इनसाइड द न्यूक्लियस एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट एज अ डाइमर विथ अनदर रिसेप्टर कॉल्ड रेटिनोइक एसिड रिसेप्टर आरएक्सआर सो पीपीएआर गामा एंड आरएक्सआर आर प्रेजेंट एज अ डाइमर इनसाइड द न्यूक्लियस एंड इट द न्यूक्लियर रिसेप्टर एज वी नो can either present in the cytoplasm and after binding with the agonist they enter into the nucleus or they are located directly in the nucleus even in the absence of the ligand and uh, uh, this type of receptor is ppar uh, ppar gamma so we are discussing ppar gamma to which is located in the adipocytes skeletal muscles and liver and the agonist of ppr gamma is thiazolidin dions like rosiglitazone pioglitazone troglitazone cyglitazone nglitazone so these are uh, anti diabetic drugs used in insulin resistance and thiazolidin dions uh, bind to the ppr gamma and that complex will bind to the thiazolidin uh, response elements or ppar response elements in the dna which will regulate the gene transcription which will cause the gene transcription from the dna messenger rna will be produced from messenger rna specific proteins will be produced and uh, let us see how these thiazolidin dions function uh, thiazolidin dions act as agonist on the ppar gamma peroxisom proliferation activator receptor gamma and that complex will bind to the ppar response elements in in the in dna and that will cause adipose cell differentiation so adipose cell that is adipocyte adipose tissue consists of adipocytes so differentiation means the pre adipocytes will be converted to adipocyte and that adipocyte will secrete adiponectin adiponectin has two functions number 1 it increases the expression of ppar gamma angiopoietin related genes which causes angiogenesis angiogenesis angio means blood vessel and genesis formation there will be formation of blood vessels in adipose tissue which will result in adipose tissue development and uh, the there will be increase in increased storage of triglycerides in, in adipocytes the free fatty acids will be taken up and these free fatty acids will be stored as triglycerides in the adipose adipocytes and there will be decrease uh, 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 conversion of triglycerides to free fatty acids so there will be decreased release of free fatty acids and uh, that will uh, that occurs because of the adipose tissue development stimulate fatty acid storage in adipocyte as triglycerides decrease free fatty acid secretion from triglycerides so all this will result in decrease in free fatty acid in blood the second function of adiponectin is it activates ampk amp activated protein kinase which will phosphorylate another enzyme a key enzyme in the fatty acid synthesis and beta oxidation acetyl coenzyme a carboxylase uh, uh, so by phosphorylation of this enzyme this this enzyme becomes uh, inhibited so there will be inhibition of fatty acid synthesis in liver and adipose tissue there will be promotion of fatty acid oxidation in skeletal muscle and liver So, so all these actions will result in decrease in free fatty acid in blood actually free fatty acid competes with glucose for uptake into the hepatocytes and skeletal muscles so when the free fatty acids level is decreased by thiazolidin dions there will be increase in uptake of glucose so there will be increase in glucose transporter four expression in the hepatocytes and skeletal muscle fiber and there will be increase in glucose uptake so insulin sensitivity increases so you can use these drugs in case of insulin resistance even high doses of insulin is uh, uh, not f- functional there is insulin resistance in that case we can use thiazolidin dions which can increase the glucose uptake into hepatocytes and skeletal muscles so this is uh, all about uh, ppar gamma Uh, receptor and its function thank you